Hey, come see me do stand-up in Ontario, California, Las Vegas, and Davenport, Iowa. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets. So Rachel Maddow did it again. Rachel Maddow has been... she. By the way, she's making Alex Jones look like Walter Cronkite with her crazy conspiracy theories. She's talking to Oliver Darcy, the guy Alex Jones got in trouble for That's saying, right. That's off right. Twitter for, I don't even know what he said about him, but it's true. And by the way, here's a picture of Rachel Maddow from 1899 for some reason. <laughs> Those glasses look better on Kevin Spacey, I got to be honest. <laughs> they sure did. So here's her latest here's her latest crazy quackadoo psychotic break me- meltdown. Oh boy. And she wants you to believe it. She doesn't believe this. What she's about to say, but she wants you to believe it. It's important for you to believe it. Just like it was important for you to believe that Russia could turn off your power in the middle of the winter. Just like it was important for you to believe that uh, the Ukraine war was was legit. Just like it was important for you to believe Russia Gate and that Trump was colluding with again with uh, with Putin against our own country. Just like it was important for you to believe that Julian Assange hacked into the DNC server and he's a bad person. Just like she knows better, Rachel Maddow knows all that's garbage. But she gets paid a hundred thousand dollars a day to convince you of it. A hundred thousand dollars a day. I know that's shocking, right? That's how much Rachel Maddow gets paid. A hundred thousand dollars a day. A day. And nobody So the question she was asked was Trump and his allies are openly talking about weaponizing the government to seek revenge against critics in media and politics with some of his extremist allies even talking about jailing their fellow Americans like they're doing to Trump. Yeah. Wow. They're going to do he Trump might they want Trump to do what we're doing to him. I don't want you having indoor jails. I want you in a FEMA tent. Look at all look at all the people not only (laughs) not only they're putting trying to put Trump in jail. They Steve Bannon they're putting in jail. They're Mm -hmm. putting uh, every all these people around him. Mm -hmm. Flynn. Look at all the people they're putting in jail. Well, that's why they're extra afraid because because they did that to Trump. Yeah, and if Trump so gets power, he'll do. They do. They're yeah. like it could happen to us. So, so she says you're. He need, so the question is, you're one of his most notable critics on television. Are you worried that you could be a target? Oh, didn't Trump come out and say he would pardon Assange and release all the Epstein files? Remember did he, that? Did he say that? Yes. But he didn't do that either. No, no, no. This, He's currently saying it. He, they said, "Will you do that?" He goes, "I will release this. I'll do that." Really? So, I don't think she. Maybe, maybe she's lying. I think of a lot of Mark Robert De Niro. He's going to come after me. We're like, why would he come after you, Robert De Niro? Well, and, he's he's on the Epstein list. Yeah, that's why. So here we go. So, Maddow responds to that question. I'm worried about the country broadly. If we put someone in power who is openly avowing that he plans to build camps to hold millions of people and to root out what he's described in subhuman terms as his enemy from within. I, what camps? When did he say so, that? So he's talking about he's going to deport illegal aliens. So oh, that's so what, that's what kick they... Kick them out of the camps that we yes, Obama built yes. to house the children we traffic. Uh, so it goes on. Uh, again, history is helpful here. He's not joking when he says this stuff. And we've seen, well, the history, uh, the history uh, is he was already president for four years and he's didn't done none of this crazy shit that you guys are all claiming he's going to do. It wasn't a joke. It was just a lie. (laughs) He's not joking when he says this stuff. And we've seen what happens when people take power proclaiming that kind of agenda. <laughs> I think someone has been sitting cross-legged on the floor, draped in an American flag, hanging out with Keith Olbermann in his safe room for too long. That's what that sounds oh, like. I think someone was in the celebrity uh, cloning center. <laughs> That's what I think. And by the way, Kurt, heeding dire warnings from history can be fun, but only when Republicans do it. Yeah. When Democrats do it, it's called the correspondence dinner. <laughs> <laughs> She goes on. She says, I think there's a little bit of head in the sand complacency that Trump only intends to go after individual people he has already singled out. Do you really think he plans to stop at well-known liberals? It also seems pretty clear that some people in politics might think they've been on a safe side, that they might even benefit from it. If they side with Trump, ask Mike Pence about how that works. That's in, the whole cabal. That's the whole. She goes, oh, they're going to come after the Republicans that are in on our vile thing, whatever the hell it is that we do. This is telling you the whole cabal. That's why they're scared. Epstein files coming out. 
Yeah. If he's telling the truth, I, I, I'm like, hey. Can you uh, go on Twitter and put in Joy Behar uh, Media and see what her latest video is that okay. comes up? Uh, when Trump invokes the Insurrection Act to deploy the U.S. military against civilians on his first day in office, do you think he then rescinds the order on day two? For that matter, what convinces you? That, but again, he was already president for four years. He did none of this crazy stuff that they say he's going to do. But he's never going to yeah. leave office. He's going to declare himself a dictator. I didn't know a president could just declare themselves a dictator. I thought we had a Senate and a Congress and a Supreme Court and a military and separations of power. Okay. He said he's going to release the JFK files. And that was the one where I did Rogan and uh, Trump said this is Napolitano. Uh, what's the judge Napolitano? Napolitano. Because if you read what I read, you wouldn't have released it either. Which, by the way, was chilling when I heard that. A chill, so a what do you think that was? Oh, well, as you know, the CIA, well, you know, it came from the OSS, right? No. You've heard of that. The OSS, the Office of Special... Okay. Whatever from World War II. That later became the CIA. The point they leave out of the story, though, is it didn't just change names. It was a merger with the Nazis. They went 50 50. Oh, okay. So that's why we live in the Fourth Reich, you might have noticed. And so what's going to happen is, and so Israel's been blackmailing it. everyone okay. with Epstein because we, Fourth Reich, we made a deal so they could have Israel, kept the Nazis here. We saved Mengele. Yeah, you know, I know. This. Okay, so if he releases that, all of Hollywood, the propaganda that the intelligence community runs, if Trump is not totally lying and he releases that, the stuff that will come out, people are going to go, they're not even going to want camps for these people. Right. Okay? So I couldn't figure out why is Robert De Niro, why these people keep doing this? I don't think they're delusional. I suspect, even if Trump's not sincere, the very thought that, that it could come out, the shit that they've been up to together, yeah. is like... What do you think? That's why they got to go, oh, yeah, sure, he'll kill us, the lizard people. But what about you after he's done with the lizard? I'm not saying I think they're lizards, but you understand? Yes. It's it, People are going to want blood when they hear what these people did. So let me get back to this. So so come back. to. So when Trump invokes the Insurrection Act to deploy the U.S. military against civilians on his first day in office, do you think then he rescinds the order on day two? For that matter, what convinces you that these massive camps he's planning are only for migrants? So, yes, I'm worried about me, but only as much as I'm worried about all of us. See, I read this different now. When I hear this shit, I'm looking through a lens. So, of, uh, so let me play know, this for you. Here's Joy collusion. Behar. I think just yesterday, uh, that doesn't matter when this is, but she's going to. So. He, he, Trump's going to go after his political enemies. Listen to what Joy Behar actually accidentally unwittingly reveals. She accidentally unwittingly reveals that they're the people who are accusing saying Trump is going to do that. They're actually doing it right now. And I'll play it for you. They're all of the um, people in the Trump orbit who have been uh, who basically ended up in prison. Mm. These are all of them. That's not even all of them. You got yeah. Steve Bannon, Peter Navarro, Michael Cohen, Paul Manafort, George Papadopoulos, Roger Stone, Rick Gates, and Alan Weisselberg. They've all gone to prison. So That's a lot. When, you, when you feel bad about the system and you think, gee, we're going to get stuck with the. The system is working. These are all of these. So, oh, yeah, they've got the real criminals. And now put Trump in there because now they there's a sentencing date for Trump because he got convicted of that bullshit thing about paying hush money to a porn star. In 2016, imagine if do, you, do, do you charge heard what, someone with torture, the thing again, the war right. crime. The tor right. Well, let's look forward. Oh, no, we can look back George for nonsense, Bush, can't we? George, George Bush and Dick Cheney walked the earth free men. But the, So she's there, nominate all the, she's there naming all the people in Trump's orbit that they put in prison. Now, including now Trump, they're going to try. They've already convicted him. Oh, Cheney's fat pig daughter's running a January 6th. <laughs> yeah, no, I, listen, I don't have any trust what is it? Trump's it's got do nothing says, to do with her weight but if he was gonna no nah, fuck her <laughs> fuck the whole family they're devils to me yeah but it's just if, if he did do all this making massive camps just for the one fat Cheney bitch that's fine with me he's not going to but they're afraid of it just and I'm guessing he the stuff he didn't release last time because he was friendly with Pompeo right I think I hope a little bit if he comes in he at least knows not to do the thing his last time I but I, but I, but I, I do have to uh, reject and renounce your fat shaming. Why? It's not like it's helping. 
<laughs> it's not like it sweetens the pot. I do. I do. Re- re- but she was cool. I wouldn't bring it up. I reject and denounce. Uh, so she. the question then is, what important lesson can we learn from history to help us in this moment? Maddow says, it's somehow comforting and discomforting at the same time to look at previous instances where factually unhinged conspiratorial narratives yeah. have taken hold in mainstream politics. You mean like Ru- Russiagate? Yeah. You mean like that? Like that ca- unhinged conspiratorial narrative? I'm discomforted. Ru- <laughs> Russiagate? <laughs> She's describing herself. Yeah. She's describing herself in this answer. Well, like our foreign policy, it's okay when we do it. One of the takeaways from that history is just the confirmation that, yes, we're quite susceptible to that as a country, but also that patient, responsible, consistent debunking, like we've done here at this show, like they've done at the Gray Zone, to debunk Russiagate and, and Glenn Greenwald. Uh, responsible, consistent debunking and criticism of those lies has an effect on the American people. It takes a long time and it doesn't reach everyone, but it can influence the median voter in a way that ultimately can be decisive. Well, hopefully so we've what? done that with Russiagate. Yeah. So she's, what? she's talking about herself. She's the one spreading unhinged crazy conspiracies along with the rest of the media, along with the entire Democratic Party. They've been doing nothing but spread unhinged conspiracies along with January 6th, along with the January 6th committee. Where was the hinging of that uh, conspiracy, the January 6th thing? By the way, that, that other story we did where uh, that Fuentes kid said uh, the Daily Wire did him that way, he was there urging people into the building. That's what Max, uh, what's her name, from uh, Gray Zone. Uh-huh. Anya saw him, and uh-huh. I've seen the, now I've seen the footage of it. I've seen the footage of it where he's like, we got to go in the Capitol, just like the other guy. Was oh, it, so you think that he was a... Uh, s- go on Gray Zone. They report on him. There's that one guy who's running for office. Do you think he was doing it on his own volition, or was he was he no, was a Ray Epps? Some weird, it's some weird op that he's from. Really? Yeah. I've told you all this. Nick Gray Fuentes? Zone, no. Yeah, Gray Zone reported on him. You think but he's he, an op? Without, okay, without a doubt. Without a doubt. I don't even know if he's really... I thought he was closeted gay this whole time. I think he might not. I think he might be a triple agent. <laughs> Followers of his his things called America First, right? He yeah. says stupid racist shit. He says this. Disp- he every year he makes like a Hitler speech. Oh really? Text- I don't know anything about this guy. Okay, well it's an op, and I don't know where the hell he came from. Oh really? It's some weird test tube baby. This America First thing is all these young guys. Remember Richard Spencer, CNN contributor. Oh, Richard Spencer. Oh, was it? Was it? Was it? And he's an obvious gay guy. Yeah. You see the pattern here of these weird. But they talked about how dapper he was all the time, right? Yeah, he's dapper. It's. I think it's some kind of Catholic thing. They're they're like uh, they're all like Catholic. So. And you and Sp- you think Spencer's gay? Oh, look at him and t- hear him talk. Of course he is. He hangs out with all slim dudes. And they all look at like having sex with a woman like a farm chore. That's not my quote. That's a guy Josh from. Uh, but uh, anyway, Kino Casino. If you watch, well, you don't watch him, but anybody watching, they do whole things on Nick Fuentes. His movement's like done. It was called America First. Now think about that, America First, and it's they're all kind of racist and they don't like. Uh, they want to save the white race. Does that sound like somebody sabotaging the idea of America? America first. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So just off the name, you should know it's bullshit. Oh. They're not America first, okay? It's to make it look bad. The guy don't like doing his job anymore. He probably got hired like that Harry Sisson, that, yeah. that creep. He's the same as that guy, okay? A little more sinister because they had they had a... Uh, uh, pedos and stuff they welcome in that he knew just like catholic church they welcome it's crazy if you find out what they did they got all these young guys that are kind of aspergersy and they're skinny and they don't know their sexuality and it's crazy what they did everything's the same story every little group is the same bullshit story it's all i never op. thought about it like that yeah well, i didn't but max anya saw him and then kino casino played the video that that Max described when he was a guest. He said Anya saw him, and remember we showed how he uh, ruined some candidate by standing next to him on purpose because yes. the guy said he didn't like him. Yeah. yeah. That's oh. What, oh, remember he went with. Didn't they go? Didn't he go with Kate Kanye yes, to remember? visit Trump? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So and that's that dipshit a, Milo, that other dipshit. Uh huh. That's like he was gay, but now now he's fixed he's, himself uh, off of sodomy. Like 
get, everyone go away with your weird, just go do your weird thing and stop getting involved. But they get picked ahead of time. So then, and I promise you, just like you didn't know who Nick Fuentes was, even though we've heard of him, you think Trump does? But it, okay. he's there with Kanye, right? Uh huh. And then the reporters can so go, oh my he's God. He's here with the guy who's a racist, who's openly yes. says racist Nazi things. Yes. All oh. the things are fake. All the things are, it was an industry plant. Every single thing. And the way you can tell is when someone just suddenly stops telling the truth. And I don't mean you agree with them. I mean, you're like, I've seen this bullshit where they go, oh, you're just saying to get secret Iran, whatever bullshit they, I've seen people say on Twitter. I know for a fact you're too abrasive to be able to do. So am I. I can't just suddenly like, oh, but this Israel murder thing is good. You know, like I, can't, I don't have the ability. To, I'm what's called a loose cannon. I've always been called that at every job. And I, I started to wonder, like, why can't we just always tell the truth? Why are you not? Why is that a crazy person? Yeah. Like, that, what, that's why is that I was, crazy to I was always the, tell the truth? Think about how crazy it, it is to it, do that. And why? Can we just tell the truth all the time? Why not? Who's ho who's stopping it? They called me a conspiracy, not only a loose cannon, they called me a conspiracy theorist at the Young Turks because I debunked their bullshit conspiracy about Russiagate. That they were screaming at, they still do, they still scream it at the top you of their You know you're not supposed to be on, whenever I start hearing this bullshit about my truth, which came out of Oprah, by the way, so you can go ahead and throw that shit my, How about my lived experience? Is there another kind of experience on, no, anywhere in the universe that's besides it. lived? Ex you mean experience that I didn't live? Oh, I had based an ex on true events. You mean events? I have an, I have an experience. I had an experience while I was temporarily dead. You had an NDE. <laughs> yeah, I had an NDE, not near death experience. Hey, come see me do stand up on tour in Ontario, California, Davenport, Iowa, Las Vegas, Nevada, Chicago, Illinois. It's a special video show with stand up and Grand Rapids, Michigan. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. Mm -hmm.